watching this video for your sun, moon, rising sign, or Venus sign, um, but the moon's going to resonate the best for you most likely, so if you don't know your moon sign, check in the description box below and there's a link there that'll help you figure out what that is. You can also be watching this if your partner or ex-partner is of this sign, and a good idea is that sometimes when these videos come out right away, they're gonna resonate right away and sometimes they're not. So yes, a personal reading is going to give you the most accurate information, but also sometimes these energies don't click with us because these things haven't happened yet. They're going to happen mid-November or they're gonna happen at the end of November. So keep that in mind too. You could bookmark it, come back to it, or you could just say fuck it all, I don't like this bitch. That's your prerogative. Um, but let's just get started with your video. Gemini, what's up for the month of November? We're gonna start with singles and then we're gonna do couples and we'll pull a few cards for those of you who are somewhere in between. Maybe your relationship isn't official. Maybe you're on again, off again. Um, maybe you just don't like the label of single or couple. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're in a polyamorous relationship. Who knows? Regardless, it's at the end. So singles, generally what's up with November? Okay, so you're thinking long term. What do I want in the real, in the long term, right? Um, you might be more focused on work and stability, that kind of a thing, but that goes along with long term. And so in regards to your love life, that's where your mindset should be. Emotionally, there are some things that are kind of out of balance and you maybe don't want to deal with those. Is that better if I put the card on this side? Okay, so there are some things that um, are hard to deal with and Mostly it's because you're not facing some truths here. There's some things here that you don't want to think about. You don't want to um, deal with, right? And so whether that is in regards to um, maybe your part of how past relationships have failed, or maybe that has to do with looking at past partners and saying, um, but you know what? Like, I just really loved them and there was so much good inside of them and completely lying to yourself about how much of a shit bag they were. No matter what it is, there's something here that you're refusing to really acknowledge or look at and probably because it's hard and because emotionally you might not just be in like your most most healthy state um, the way that November starts off for you. So how do we fix this? Focusing on the things that make us happy and taking baby steps towards our highest growth right? Like what is it that is going to make us the most happy? Because we have spent a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of time in relationships with people who haven't been for our highest good, you know, like, oh, okay, well, this is temporary. I'm just going to date this guy until I meet the somebody who's good for me. Like, I'll just keep it casual, but actually it kind of fucks you up emotionally. And so this is the problem here. Okay. That's um, something we need to shift away from. So what is it that you actually want for November? And they're like, deep inside you do want to shift your perspective and start moving forward. And that's why you're starting to think about the long term. But um, thinking about things from the past does kind of screw it up. So we need to shift the way that we think about things in the past and see them through like a really clear lens um, for what they really were instead of having rose colored glasses. And that is something that we just simply don't want to do um, because it is hard. Now, what is it that you need in the month of November? And they say that this month is maybe one of those months where you just kind of need to be single because in dating people right now and kind of staying single and, you know, maybe talking to this person, talking to that person, kind of trying to figure it out, helping us to get clear on what we want, we're actually just confusing ourselves more. This isn't always the case, but in the month of November, it is the case for you, Gemini. And what it's saying is that this is um, 
this month isn't likely to be the month for most of you where you're going to just like meet somebody and fall madly in love. This is the month for self-reflection and to really think about what it is that you desire long term. They say um, this month there's a lot less enthusiasm for you to just kind of like blast ahead and dive head first into something should you meet somebody. So I know that sounds kind of like a bummer and maybe it won't be the case for all of you because it is a general reading, but that's what they're saying is kind of what you need because then once you get really, really aligned and specific about what it is that you want and you need moving forward, you can thereby attract it coming into December, January. Okay, so how is it that you can get what it is that you need and what you want? And they say, well, it's going to be one of these things where you're going to have to be patient, first of all, because we've already kind of established that it's not likely to happen in the month of November for you. But it's this thing of planting seeds, right? So a really good thing that you could do for yourself is start to write down all the things that you want in a partner, right? All of these positive things that you do want, not the things you don't want because then you're attracting those in, but writing down all the things that you do. It's an investment that you're making so that the universe can start to pull all that in for you. They say that, um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, how do you get it? They say that kind of understanding that you don't get to necessarily dictate the way that things go in your love life so much as you think. We do have free will, but we don't have a shit ton of control over other things, people, all of that. Now, they say, make your wishes, make your dreams, put your hopes out there. And, you know, by making this list, as I mentioned, you not only can have all of those things, but the universe can bring you something bigger and better than you even imagined possible. Things that you didn't even think of that you wanted or needed, you know, from a relationship. So that's good. Uh, what, else, what do you need to release in order to welcome all this good stuff in? And they say, um, <laughs> toxicity and exes. Uh, some of you that are watching this singles part are maybe in an on-again, off-again relationship where it's like you feel trapped, you feel stuck. And this could also be negative belief patterns or thoughts that we have, okay? So you feel trapped in it, you feel trapped in your circumstances, that kind of a thing, but you're actually not so trapped as you think. Um, there's always a way out, it's just a matter of figuring it out. And so they're saying the enthusiasm to find that hasn't been there. It's almost like kind of succumbing to this reality of like, oh, well, things just never go my way. So why even hope? Why even wish? Why even try? And okay, well, then you're just going to sit there in that and that's your choice, right? That's you exerting your free will and that's you taking control of your situation, but not in the way that you wish that you could, right? So they're like, get really, really direct about what you want because this is a really important time for you. This is a time to release um, thought patterns, especially that no longer serve us. So what is the overall lesson in regards to love for the month of November for Gemini singles? And they're like, you know what? Um, things have to be unstable sometimes for us to figure out how we can do better, what it is that we want, what would enhance our life, right? We figure that out by contrast. So right now, super good time to be single, to figure out the other aspects of our life, our work, our career, our job, our friendships, that kind of thing, grow our strength in those areas so then love comes in easy for us. They say that some of you are maybe going through a divorce or, um, a tough breakup that was very similar to a marriage and what they're saying is that to cut off communication with that person is probably as much as you can anyway like if you're getting divorced obviously you're gonna have to communicate but um, that would be in your better interest in this month because it's only gonna make you feel more negative and then by doing so coming into December you're gonna have a lot more enthusiasm and passion and fire and drive to go out and find that soulmate for yourself Okay, so moving on to couples, generally, what do I see for the month of November? Um, again, the similar energy of there's some things here we don't want to see or decide on, think about. Uh, we do want to move our lives forward in a very 
you know, towards all the things that we want, the things we want for our relationship, the things we want for ourselves. But again, those feelings of not really being in control, except for in coupled relationships, it seems that you have a little bit more um, confidence that these things are possible for you. So what should you keep doing in order to um, work on this relationship and achieving your goals for the relationship? They say that, you know, if you're in this scenario where things aren't what you want and exactly, like they're sort of what you wanted, but not exactly. And, you know, you're not just like over bubbling with love and all that stuff. And it's kind of like feeling humdrum and same old for you. It's not the time to make big changes um, because that would hurt your relationship. They say focus on the things that are good about the routine, the things that are um, wonderful about being in a relationship, even though it might feel a little boring in the month of November, because you do get a lot of value from the predictability, believe it or not. Even though that's a very earth sign kind of quality um, that needs that everyday kind of is the same energy. It could be a little bit boring for you, but but they're saying um, it's going to help you to be a better communicator with your partner and it helps you to feel more in control when the natural energy, it seems, in accordance to these cards, is can maybe feel like you can't control things. So it's actually a thing to appreciate in the month of November. They say again, though, there's just this shit here that you don't want to deal with, that you don't want to look at, that you don't want to address within your relationship, and you totally could. You totally could, but it's going to be hard, so eh, don't want to. So what could that be about, actually? Let's find out. <laughs> they say, <laughs> so sometimes they're really funny, uh, the way that your angels will speak to you. And it says that um, you'll only find out if you decide to go within. <laughs> They're like, we're going to keep it secret. So, um, but they said it does have to do with love for sure. And um, maybe you closing your eyes to opportunities to receive love. And so perhaps you might be understanding that maybe your partner isn't the best partner for you. And that, you know, there are opportunities for different partners that would be better suited to you, um, around you, and you're just like closing your eyes to it. Um, perhaps your partner is trying to show you love and you just don't see it that way. Like maybe you come home and their love language is different than yours. Like there's this acts of service. So they have the whole house clean and you take that instead of an act of love. So you don't have to clean it. Um, you might take that as like a criticism, like, Oh, you don't think that I do a good enough job around here? you know, kind of a thing. And so um, you'll have to go within to specifically figure out what that is or get a private reading. Um, but with me or somebody else, it doesn't matter. But my point is, is that there's something here that you're refusing to see. And it's important that you do for the health of your relationship. So what do you need to stop doing in the month of November? <laughs> and they say, stop lying to yourself that everything is, is um, perfect the way that it is, right? There's some things that you're neglecting to look at, and those things are important. And it doesn't mean that your relationship is in danger, but there are some things that you need to talk about that you need to look at this month. Um, what is your general advice? And I'm getting here that, you know, when things aren't exactly perfect, it's actually an opportunity for us to, number one, recognize the things that are super great, and two, to make changes. And so they say, like, make a really big effort to focus on the positive as opposed to focusing on the negative this month because that would be the best thing for your relationship. They say like your relationship isn't in danger. It's not like you're going to end up single, but there could be a lot of arguing and hurt feelings and also the start of some resentment if you do focus too hard on the things that are not super great about your relationship. Now, um, for those of you who are somewhere in between, the advice here is that um, don't feel upset about this, actually. You know, if you're in an on-again, on, off-again relationship, if your relationship isn't uh, something that's you know, been defined as we are together if you're casually dating. They say that it's important to maybe focus on this person and not anyone else. 
because you are okay so so like if you have suspicions about this other person they're less likely to be accurate <laughs> this month and so like if you're giving a lot of credence that like oh I wonder if uh so and so is dating a lot of other people if these two other people are sleeping together blah 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 your intuition might be a little off this month and it and so the more that you think about it you're going to kind of upset yourself for no reason is essentially what it's saying. They say however things that have been in the past though is probably how they're going to be in the future. So if, you know, this person that you're dealing with may or may not be um, somebody that you have some history with and they previously had behaved in a certain way, that's the way they're going to behave now. If they've been really, you know, loyal then they would continue to be so. If they haven't been, well, then they probably aren't. They say, though, that, like, emotionally, we just kind of have to really, really think about why are we here right now? Is this good enough for me? Is this what I want? Because if it isn't, then I need to go find what I want. So, like, I'm not going to, why would I stay in something that isn't, you know, exactly what I want? So those are things for you to think about. Now, overall, in general, what kind of advice do we have like an affirmation for you um so for those of you in coupled relationships it says my partner is the love of my life and we adore each other and then this is also the kind of affirmation that you want to make if you're single and you're looking for that person my soulmate is coming they are made for me we adore each other that person is the love of my life. You know, you can apply this either way, no matter where you are, so that you're drawing that in. So that is November, love and light, and see you next month.